What's up guys, Jeep and Bubba here, and I'm at Foster Falls, which is in Cumberland State Park. We're in Tennessee, near Coppinger Cove, and we got Jackson and Adventure Russ, and we're about to cook dinner. I'm gonna show you guys around the, uh, the camp a little bit. All right, so we got Russ set up here. He's, you can't really see it because it's dark, sorry. But we got our Skeeter lights on. We got a fire going, and I'm about to make Mexican hot dogs. Good morning, YouTube. So we're breaking down camp, Jeep sideline over there, and we're about to head to the cove. This was a pretty nice campground. If you like places where kids are running wild and the parents are screaming at them constantly, this is the campground for you. When they get up at seven o'clock and just yell, Madeline, Madeline, put the phone down. Yeah, it's a campsite for you. Loved it, loved it. Next time I come back, I'm probably gonna sleep or camp on the cove itself, on the trail. But I've never been here before, so this was a guaranteed spot that's close to the trailhead. So not too bad, it wasn't that expensive. You can book it online. So now we're heading to the trailhead. Now, I'm gonna give you a little piece of information. This is not a normal cove video because everyone goes in from the south entrance and does the water crossings. Well, it's rained every day this week. So I've gotten some uh, good advice that we should not attempt the water crossings today. Uh, Jax is just on 35s and 37s, Russ is, Russ is on 40s. But, um, we're just not going to try the water crossings today. So we're going to come in from the north, and that's going to be a little bit different video because most people you're watching are going to be coming from the south. So we're going to try coming in from the north and just explore and check out the area. Uh, we've considered going to Colmont OHV as well today, but uh, and it's supposed to rain today, so but the skies look super clear. So I think we'll be okay on that end. But let's go on the trail. Flat branch. We just got to what we thought was the entrance and it was gated and as I was leaving I happened to see this road basically to the right and I guess this is the road we'll find out soon but I'm following public tracks and I'm following Gaia and we show that we're on public land so um, everything shows that this is the trail. It's kind of unnerving because I've never been here but GPS is showing what we're doing is, is right so. Um, I'm recording this track so I can post it on my public Gaia and share it with you guys. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, it might have like, you might get to fit like a tennis ball between the two, maybe. So I can't really uh, tell you where we are because I don't really know. <laughs> this is like some kind of magical playground that I kind of knew existed but didn't know it was this epic. Uh, and it's all you know public and free. But uh, we're about to do this creek crossing. It's pretty low. And it's awesome. And it's just like a beautiful forest and all kind of rocks. It's been violent. I need to air down. We just disconnected. And... Um, my spring's rubbing in the front um, on my Steer Smarts sector shaft brace. I need to pull that spring out anyways. Um, so it'll rub today and then we'll clearance it later. But that's not the point. Y'all check this out.
Work it back and forth. Hey, put your front locker on. Again, uh, you might get out of it. Okay, back up. All right, I'll get you from there. I'm gonna go that way. Listen to me. Go this way. Listen. <laughs> All right now. Come on. Can't fight a rut down a hill. Driver, 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 driver. Saving your awning. Now turn. Back up. Yep. Stop, stop. Now I drive down. I tried. You're gonna drop in on a rock right here. You're gonna be just fine. But nice and slow right here. About halfway there. There it goes. Straighten your tires. You're good. Are you on that? Here. Just slow and steady with the tire straight. You're gonna go down that hole. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> All right, we took a pretty steep uh, downhill and Russ is pinned up where he's basically gonna destroy his windshield or his A-pillar. So I need to go winch him. Let's see if we can save this thing. This place has been awesome. There are trails everywhere. There's offshoots everywhere. It's hard to know what a main trail would be here, but it's an awesome place that we came. Come forward, come forward. Now, now throw it back. And work your steering wheel. Dump. Here's what we have. Jackson's stuck in the mud. And Russ is not stuck. But we're trying to save his windshield. And he's up here. So let's see what happens. Grabbing some gear out of my Rockman Fab drawer. I'm going to go soft shackle. And... Uh, statch block. Actually, I'm gonna grab two soft shackles and get my remote. So that should do it for what we need. Oh, and I'll need a tree stair.
All right, drive out. If you'll come right here, I can use you to pull Jackson out. All right, now we're gonna get Jackson out. Jackson, he's just gonna pull you slow. He's not gonna snatch you. 10 four. You're good. Stop, rest, stop, 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 stop. Rest back up. A little more, a little more, hold. Jax wants you to try to steer passenger a little bit. That's good. Russ, I want you to start pulling forward. Do I need to be in here or just neutral? Je uh, be in neutral, Jackson. Alright, hold, Russ, hold. Jackson, I want you to put it in uh, drive, my first gear, and straighten, or put your tire towards the driver's side a little bit. Okay. Start giving it some gas a little bit, Jackson. Russ, start pulling. All right, give him a big pull, Russ. Keep pulling, Russ. He's out. We got two. <laughs> what do you think, old boy? Did you about roller? I did. <laughs> I was, uh... Look at that peanut buttery mess. Damn, Johnny knew what he's doing. <laughs> Russ, what'd you think about dual recoveries? Oh, Technically, you weren't stuck though. We were just saving no, your no, I body. Just, I was just in a pickle. That's you know, right. And, and that's fine. You know. <laughs> but, no. Just I like a little fatigue from standing on the brakes for so damn hard. Sure. But, you just need a little bro tug. But, yeah. Jackson yeah. definitely bent his tie rod today. Oh, yeah. Caked it up a little bit too. <laughs> Time for some cat fab. <laughs> well, we got out of that pickle and we made it to the Cove Church. We're gonna eat lunch and figure out how we're gonna get out of this place. <laughs> can or you can stay in it and, and spin yeah hell yeah all right we're trying to find our way out of here because it's starting to rain uh we think we know kind of a short way out to get back to the highway and head back towards georgia so let's see if we can get out of here i got my empower light on because it's like pitch black out here and it's three o'clock so big storm coming I got all the lights on and it's three o'clock in the afternoon and it's pitch black like it's nighttime out here. It's a kind of an eerie feeling uh, looking to get off the trail <laughs> as fast as possible. What'd you do? 
big rush. I had a good time, but I'm going to have six hours. So. You're super excited? I'm very excited. Very good. You want to go back to the cove? Uh, yeah, definitely. No. I think we're going to do that. We'll see another cove place. Sounds good. It's working. What is that? It's my air compressor. Okay. Alright, there's Jackson's air compressor. Russ has got the ARV on board. Okay? And I'm running the EGO 5 CFM. Alright, we finally made it off the trail. Sunshine's out and we're airing up. We stopped at a little gas station middle of nowhere Tennessee and we got about three hours back to Buford. So we air these tires up. Hope to make it home safe. Good ride. Loved every bit of it. Can't wait to come back here. We've only scratched the surface. You know we've got uh, it downloaded on Gaia and I think we may have done a fifth maybe a quarter of the whole trail and we wheeled for like six hours and there's just offshoots everywhere. It's like an off-roaders paradise. I hate even making a video about it because I feel like now more people are going to come and well if you go out there please be respectful enjoy it but just know it's a wonderful beautiful beautiful place uh, we had a great time uh, you know I couldn't ask for a better weekend it was within three hours drive of my home in Georgia and uh, I will definitely be back we'll definitely do the water crossings and check out the, the cave um, but we went from the north entrance I am going to put our Gaia down below in a link so you can see the trails we went because we ran into a lot of locked gates. So uh, it kind of slowed us down. We were trying to, to get off the trail and it's raining and it was dark. Um, and now the sun's out and it quit raining and we're aired up and reconnected. So uh, I hope there's an adventure future. I'm Jim Bubba. Thanks for riding along with us today. Eat your prunes and we'll be seeing you.